Yo, here with considerably richer than Yao, Nathan Benden, WBC international champion. Definitely the next WBC light welterweight champion after what I've just seen in that gym. Mate, how are you? Good man, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, we just had uh, some good training going on there and then you were well, we've we've done quite a bit of sparring and stuff before in the past, but that was like double, triple times what I've seen you before, mate. So you've obviously been putting in been some fucking up, some serious graft, haven't you, mate? Working, working. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. We need to do the, the sponsor shout out first. Obviously, we are sponsored by Manscaped, number one in the male grooming. Um, we've just been talking about this, Nate. How many times have you fucking had like a massacre down there? Try to shave your balls with, with shitty like razors and trimmers that just don't do the job. Because when it happens, it's bad, isn't it? Mate, if especially when you know you've only got an inch or two to play yeah. you don't be chopping anything <laughs> off do you yeah, I'll be ordering one of these when I get home <laughs> this is the lawnmower 4.0 mate it's waterproof it's got torch on for when you're getting down and dirty in your gooch and all sorts mate get to all the hidden areas <laughs> it's fucking sick it's got a little power station it sits in so it just sits on the my missus goes mad because I prop mine up on the side and she's always like oh. cleaning pubes off the side <laughs> <and> she, <laughs> she's like you fucking done it again <laughs> yeah but I said look how good it looks yeah, it's, look like a, it's like a lightsaber and something mate it's fucking class yeah, it's not we had not just the uh, the four point order. There's all this stuff you get on here. Yeah. Oh, go back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got look. This, this is the foot duster, crop revive. This is ball toner, body wash, anti chafing ball deodorant. Wow. Uh, yeah. wow. You get all this shit with it. Like this is it's a class little like uh, just a little gift a gift sack. You've even got the the skin safe replacement blade and all sorts ball deodorant. You get all sorts on there with uh, with this lot, mate. So it's, it's good value for money. People like say, are you taking a piss like promoting that? No, it's a good. You need to be clean and you need to have fucking fresh balls, mate. Ball deodorant, mate. <laughs> yeah, Come on, you, I'm all the game, game changer. I would have sell that to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the code is kicking it. You get twenty percent off. Um, yeah. So yeah, manscaped number one in male grooming. Right. Let's get to it because there's the beef in there with, uh, with Nico. Like, this is what everyone, wants, everyone wants to hear about it. Everyone wants to hear about it. Yeah. Obviously, he's been making waves. He's won his last three by KO, I think. Or, Smashing uh, it, any really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Just well, I wouldn't say we bounced out of nowhere. He's been doing it, but he won't be like on the on the stage he's now, and people won't take it too much notice. But he's had like the KO against Jack. He just stopped his last opponent. He um, he knocked out more Abdurrahman. He, he came from behind to do that. Obviously, there's a little beef and stuff like that. It's got all the country talking. All everyone in Muay Thai, if they ask them, what fight do you want to see in UK Muay Thai? Nico versus Benden. Yeah. Do you think that'll happen? And do you think it be, might be for the WBC title? Because he just won the European. And how, how do you see the fight going and stuff like that? Is there any weaknesses you've seen? Or don't you want to say because it's on thing? Just talk to us about it. Because it came out of nowhere as well, like... We and you were all sparring at the gym and stuff before, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. him and JP, fucking lovely lads. You were friendly and stuff like that. But I think you both knew. Yeah, there was a point coming soon that would be. Yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. Talk to us about it. I think I think Nico's brilliant. I really do like it. Like you say, he's fucking exploding and he's 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 knocking people out. He's doing his job well, but like he's really good at. Like, I hope he's listening to this now because he <laughs> needs to fix up. Because otherwise, he's gonna get fucking hurt. <laughs> He's um he's really good at attacking. Like he can, he'll it, knock, he'll he'll knock a fucking horse out when yeah. he, if he if he hits him. But you know, he can't defend very well. I'm tough as fuck. I'm hard, mate. <laughs> I'm hard as now. I've been battered a few times. I'm hard. He's gonna hit me. I'm gonna absorb anything he can give me, and I'm gonna fucking hurt him. And because he's he's open to be hit. Mm. If I fight Nico Carrillo, I'll stop him. I promise you that. I'll put a bet on it now <laughs> with anyone. <laughs> you know. Um so do you see this when you win this WBC title? Do you reckon because I've still he's top five or top six, remember? And he's got number four, Oh, he? is that right? Yeah, he's top five, yeah, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. do you think that'll happen in, in the UK maybe for your title then if um if uh, one of the well, if maybe Brian Calder who puts it on more yeah, if yeah. he if he puts it on, do you reckon? Well, if you fucking don't go on holiday again. Yeah, <laughs> has it. yeah, yeah. He, um, it was meant to be on this February one. We were meant to fight each other for the world title now yeah. in February in a couple of weeks, but he had um a holiday book to Disneyland or something. So he's been he's been enjoying a bit of life. But he had two big fights, two knockouts. Fucking, you know, go out enjoy yourself. Yeah, you know, he ain't in he's, no rush. He's fighting a tie for the ISKA world title in um March as well, isn't he? So if you win that, he wins that. He got two world titles there. So then. Like you just said, it, Give me it, it's the only... F I imagine, can you do that? 
I'll be all right because sanction above double double. Why not? Title. Do you yeah. want to do it all in the boxing? Don't yeah, you? the Duke, mate. Fuck, there you go. Tell fucking ring Calder up. I'll put yeah. international. Yeah. I've, I've got, I've got the Iska British, the uh, uh, WRSA British, WRSA European, the, the WBC international. I'll have the WBC world. I'll fucking put all of them on the line. <laughs> Can have them all <laughs> if he beats me. If that could be done, that'd be a good double world title fight. That, that we just said then that is it's the only fight in England. Is he UK. fighting at sixty three and a half? That one though, I'm not sure to be honest. Because the last one he just fought, I thought, fucking, hell, I'll have that WBC European off him as well. But he's fought at sixty six. I worry. Yeah, I, I thought that was sixty three and a half. No, nah, I worry. I'm not too sure. Um, I didn't realise what the, what weight that was. But yeah, like you say, then it is like the only fight that people want to see. Um, Schooly, has anyone messaged in and asked about? Um, that fight, I know there were a few questions coming. I know someone said you're scared of him. Or are you scared of him? So ask him the questions, Ghoulie. Yeah. Give me two seconds. Let's get them <laughs> up. Careful what you say, Ghoulie. We're <laughs> <laughs> dangerous, man. <laughs> right, I'll go straight to the Nico question. Lloyd underscore 5312 wants to know, are you scared of fighting Nico? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Scared is definitely not the is not the <laughs> word. I have I have like excitement. I would love to fight Nico because mm. you've got to be switched on it. Yeah, yeah. Like you've got to be you've got to be fucking on your game. It would make me get out of bed in the morning to go running. It would make me fucking travel the world for sparring. Yeah, I'm. I respect him, and it gives me enough fear to get my fucking ass out of bed and make it worth it. But I don't. I don't As a fighter, if you ain't got that fear for your opponent, no, there's no point even getting Come in there. Yeah. No point getting out. Like you, say, yeah. you, know, you need that fucking. Hang on, this man could hurt me if he I'm. Fu- he could hurt me if. He, if you're getting in there thinking, I've got no respect for you whatsoever. Don't bother fighting because you fight shit. Because I've done it before in past where I thought, right, I'll obliterate this guy, and I fought shit and like, people I should have just blasted. I've struggled to beat him and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because you, you can't be asked to get out of bed. Yeah, exactly. But I want to, Lloyd, what I want to know is, is Nico Carrillo scared of Nathan Bender? Because <laughs> rumour has it, he fucking he is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking in his little space boots. Oh, next question. Space boots. <laughs> <laughs> fucking scared, mate. <laughs> next question.